Hi Capricorn, welcome to your spirit messages for the month of February 2021. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. If you aren't aware, spirit messages are a little bit different than traditional tarot. I channel directly during the reading rather than just relying on the tarot messages themselves. I often pick up their audience messages and deliver them to you. And these are messages from your highest self, your divine team, your spirit army, your masters, angels, loved ones, and teachers that are wanting to share with you for this month. All right, let's see what we have going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. The King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. I pull out five cards from the Moon Child Tarot, the Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups. Um, sorry, I just got very lightheaded. I have um, my grounding crystal in my pocket. Look at that. We're going to pull out this extra one because it just came out. The Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Interestingly enough, in your weekly reading, you also got the Five of Pentacles. I and I can't help but notice. Circle. 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 I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Your resiliency, your hard work, your dedication, your determination, and your ability to always be willing to do what is right even with like risking people coming after you capricorn will mean that you will see success but this what you're experiencing for the month of february is a test of your heart your ability to stay grounded your ability to heal and your ability to overcome and move on. If you're new and you've never watched the Spirit Messages, I always deliver a crystal of the month. Okay, Bloodstone. For you this week, it is Bloodstone. Or month, sorry, it is Bloodstone. Okay, Bloodstone is all about that heart to root chakra connection. You're so strong, right? You're so determined. You're so, um, you're such a realist. Um, but just because you're all those things, it doesn't mean that you are not allowed to feel. It doesn't mean that you, you don't have permission to go through these ebbs and flows because I don't feel like the last little bit has been easy for you. It's like you've been dodging bullets or like, you know, deking punches. It's like, you're just like, all right, all right. It, you know, I just got this imagery and tell me if it resonates with you. Let me put that crystal right there for you. Uh, have you ever um, seen those skiers that go down the hill and like they do the ch -ch -ch, but they're going down those bumps or hang the flags? Like that's the vibe I'm getting. Raven, what are you doing? Yeah. I just want to turn around and tell you, like, don't give up. Just keep going, okay? Let me pull these down for you. Um, if you like wearing gemstone healing jewelry, take a look at Starcy Jewels. It's in the description box below. It's my gemstone healing jewelry line. It's like a modern-day amulet uh, to help you tap into your limitless potential. But I actually have a bracelet called Hermod, which is bloodstone. So I feel like you need that. I feel, it's like you need a great release and I don't think you've been giving yourself permission to do it. I'm not going to pull out a card for the Five of Pentacles. It's too many. Can I just get one more for the Six of Cups? This 
whether it's actual financial like loss, being tight on money, or whether it's you feeling like you're persecuted and being left out in the cold, whatever this is, this is temporary and specific. And that is why focusing on healing, if you're into crystals, use them. If not, don't do them. But that's why focusing on healing is so important for you. Okay, because right now I'm feeling like you're there's so much vulnerability to you, but you're so afraid to express it. So afraid because you have this persona to uphold. The Six of Cups and the Share Your Voice come out of the cave persecution expression. What did I say in the beginning of this reading? Sometimes when you speak the truth, some people might come after you, but it doesn't mean that you keep your mouth shut. Speak it. This month, you speak it because that will help you. Be careful with your words. We're in Mercury retrograde, but it doesn't mean that you get to shut the fuck up and not speak your truth because you deserve to have your truth heard. The Six of Cups in the tradition in this tarot deck talks about the Akashic Records, okay? It talks about being able to look and notice how both of these people are looking out into the future. One's looking out into the past, one's looking out into the future. This is your past lives, this is the future where you're going. You need to find the confidence within to understand that in speaking your truth, you will inspire other people to speak it too. And I don't know why I'm called to do this backwards, but we're going to go with it. So whatever. Then you got the Four of Cups. The effort, like the synchronicities here are out of this world. Then you got the Four of Cups. The ever unfolding rose cracked open happening for you, not to you. Look at where the roses sit in this woman. Okay, in this Four of Cups, she's in a very meditative, contemplative energy. The Four of Cups in this deck isn't about like what options to choose. This is about being in stillness meditating contemplating before you make the next move look at the flowers what did i say about the bloodstone the heart to the root chakra look at that this is all for you to tap into your divine feminine energy this is about you being in your power and owning your power the seven of wands don't dim your light to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in again if you're afraid to speak your truth, stop. There is still work to do here with that seven of wands. The fight is not over. Keep standing up for yourself. Keep hustling, keep grinding, keep being a beacon of light for these people. If some people don't like it, fuck them. You keep doing you, Capricorn. Don't stop. When you are making headway, people will feel so threatened by it. It doesn't give you permission to go and hide. Use it as your ammunition to be fired up and work harder and be more determined. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm flipping them all around. The Seven of Pentacles, Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. The Seven of Pentacles in this card is again, look, now she's, the alignment is insane. Like your chakras, like if you know a crystal or a chakra healer, or if you want to do it with me, you are welcome to. If not, that's fine. Or just you yourself, like really focus and own in on your chakras. Alignment is so important right now. Okay, because alignment is going to help you not only attract financial abundance, which is what you are really focused on this month, finding that money again but it's going to help you feel more empowered in yourself because sometimes the people that have the biggest change to create in this world like creating heaven and earth also have the biggest crosses to bear for lack of a better term and that's your energy okay you might have a Leo or a Sagittarius moon and rising, but with the King of Wands and the Inner Temple devotion tuned into the portal of your heart, the King of Wands is somebody who finds an opportunity and creates abundance from it. So while you're experiencing these, these obstacles, let's call them that, tune into the portal of your heart, devotion, Inner Temple, because they will guide you the way that you need to go. Maybe it's not the way that you thought you were going to go career and finances, life and love and da, 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 all the things, but it's the direction that you're meant to go in Capricorn. And that's the difference. Surrender to your abilities. All right. Because that's how you become limitless and change the world. 
Capricorn, if you want a private reading or if you'd like to purchase my gemstone healing jewelry, it's all in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for being a member of our community. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out.